Uh, that command Spanish is exactly what Josh talks about when my command Spanish was, it was wild. Situation. It was wild. This man, this man was speaking like he could speak Portuguese <laughs> if he needed to. <laughs> yeah, I do. <laughs> yeah. Someone's trying to kill me. I'm allowed to kill them back, civilian, cop, or otherwise. So. Uh. All right, buttholes, welcome back to another Only Comps video. We're going to be doing more end of watch stuff, so go ahead and sit down and shut up, and we'll go on to this next clip. <laughs> Are you going to break this down as admin? Oh, my God. Is this admin is break down? Okay, we'll, do this. We'll, do, we'll do this for Patreon. Yeah. Oh, my God. Oh, I'll, I'll, I'll put it on and off. That's what I'll do. Oh, go. that's okay. I'll do the admins a fair version of this. There you go. I like how he uses the one monocle. Yeah. Yo, is that Big Evil's mom right there? His mom? Yeah, that's Mrs. Evil. Mrs. Evil. Who's a cowboy? I don't know. He's got money. Look at his truck. I wanna run. You wanna jam this fool? Yes, I do. Plate's clean. To the name What's our PC? Oh, yeah. well, it's that stupid CD hanging up from his rear view mirror, obstructing <laughs> his vision. <laughs> Let's do this. All right. You like other King Petty like we were? Oh, King Petty. Oh, dude. Yeah. So I would do it. I bless it. So a lot of people will look at this, and, and I've seen this. This is a very popular topic to talk about. They'll say that this is a pretextual stop. And this is the key buzzword that a lot of people that are uninformed or ill-informed of law enforcement will say that this is a pretextual stop. It's not a pretextual stop because I am creating PC based off a moving violation. They are waiting, and you notice they're sitting there saying, the plate's clean, this is whatever, I don't have PC. They're going down the list of things they don't have PC for. They know this car is shady, they have reasonable suspicion, if you want to call it that, or they're working towards reasonable suspicion, but they are waiting for a specific offense in which they can detain that car because they would have either reasonable suspicion or probable cause definitive of an actual crime occurring, even though they, the investigation they're wanting to conduct is completely irrelevant to that stop. That's actually good police work. Uh, a lot of people will look at this and well, you're singling out that car, you're profiling. No, I'm taking a known drug area. Notice that they were referencing this is Big Evil's yeah, mom um, or whatever. Yeah. This is a known drug-related place. And they know his name. They know, they know who sure. this guy is. Sure. And, and so a lot of people will get a lot of heartburn and say it's a pretextual stop, da, 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 da. And again, a lot of use of force comes out of these types of stops. Yeah. Reason being is this is the criminal element. Right. This, these are the people that are getting into the shootings. These are the people that are getting into the stabbings and all this kind of stuff. Well, it's common practice when you have a drug house yes. in your area. It, yeah. th there are not too many constables doing this type of stuff. Yeah. There's not too many deputies doing this type of yeah. stuff. There's typically going to be municipal officers that have a very intimate knowledge of that area yeah. of operation. And, so. and if the police have a nickname for you, mm -hmm. you've been dealt with a lot. A lot. Yeah, they, they probably have, again, a rap sheet that's super long. And again... That is what a lot of people will look at that and say, well, then you're, you're acting like he's a bad guy or he's whatever. You have given me a reason as a city to believe that you're possibly going to perpetuate more crime. So am I going to leverage my ability as a law enforcement officer to try to prevent you from doing that? Yeah. Uh, if somebody, you know, is a real dick to you and you're dating them and they keep on being a dick to you, you're not going to keep dating them. <laughs> and so, like, as a law enforcement... That's not necessarily we, true. Well, you shouldn't. What, what I'm getting <laughs> at is should. we can all collectively look at that and laugh because it's a skit. Yeah. But from a law enforcement context, it's not them saying something rude or staying out late at 3 o'clock in the morning. It's killing people. Yeah. It's, you know, perpetuating stuff like fentanyl on the street. It's yeah. getting into domestic violence disputes. Robbing it's, people. It's getting into... It's just very like, again, yeah. until you're the victim of it, you tend to not care, and you'll get into this academic discussion of what it is and what it isn't. Oh, the fuck hurts. Wait, 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 wait. It's up. I'm guessing he's got a lifesaver. Here's Code 6. On 39 Street, it's the wall. Lights and plate, 4 boy 1732. Dodge pick out it. I had to pull them to the stop sign. Better than the. Pause yeah. it. Ooh. Notice he got immediately out of that car. So, and the reason why, and again, everyone's going to get a bunch of heartburn about this, but if I know that who I'm dealing with here is potentially somebody that's very affiliated with gangs and very affiliated, these are 
shootings 101 happen here. And this is not shootings as in the officers get into shooting. This is, no. they're going to shoot at you. Yeah. Because yeah. these people do not give a shit. Or, again, they have more to lose, especially we start talking about organized crime. These are very scary people. These are, these are people that are, like, very entrenched in the cartel. All these things that we make memes about, these people are actually involved in it. And specifically yeah. in L.A., this would be very common. That you're you're not just interacting with some guy selling weed to college kids. These are guys no, moving yeah. like weight. These They're are guys, pounds. yeah. So we'll we'll uh, some people might get heartburn about this, but uh, now as far as coming out of the holster, it'd be a use of force uh, where we came from. But until you're technically pointing that at somebody or making them aware that you're threatening them with deadly force. Under state statute, in most places, that wouldn't be considered deadly force. If they saw the weapon. That's what I'm getting yeah. at. If they, he doesn't see the weapon, it's technically not a use of force. It, it depends on where you're at. Yeah. Now, yeah. Our, our, the policy that we policed under, this wouldn't have been kosher. But if, if, if it's, I might die if I don't do that, then yeah. I'm probably yeah, going to write right, policy. Yeah. Pause it. You would have blown his head off, and I don't. Yep. That'd yeah. Right. Place. That's it's a I, lot I, more if, self control. If, if you have a, if you have any other way that that should have gone down outside of him being Superman. Disarming him. I mean, that was some dust yeah. level. Yeah. <laughs> Jiu Jitsu. Yeah. That happened yeah. There. Like, jeez. He also, said, I want to point out. Look at this gun. Yeah. That command Spanish is exactly what Josh talks about when my command Spanish was, it was wild. It was wild. It was wild. This man this man was speaking like he could speak Portuguese <laughs> if he needed to in a, uh, in a random oh shit moment. It's pretty incredible. But that being said, like he's very lucky to have walked away from that. Uh, and I honestly. Alive. Again, evaluating this from a deadly force situation, if they're struggling over that gun, that guy dies. Uh, the just the yeah. fact, that, and again, you'll notice, it went from, and they knew who they were dealing with, it went from, oh, hey, let me go grab my insurance, to cranking around off at an officer. Yeah. He tried to goad him and get him to be relaxed. So as much as, and you can't know, you don't get to know beforehand, but this no. is why sometimes these tactics that'll look very rough around the edges to the civilian, to civilian eyes, this was still just a regular stop until he goes and shoots at an officer. Yeah. I don't know what more you want out of an officer than they're shooting at me, can I shoot back? Uh, and and that's, that's in any rules of engagement, whether it's the military, whether it's whatever. Someone's trying to kill me, I'm allowed to kill them back. Civilian, cop, or otherwise, so. Partner, I'm good. Uh, back up back there. Five seconds. Oh, God, yeah. They're probably already rolling, to be honest with you. Yeah, belt on the Yeah. Ten years ago. Hey, South Island, they had a little shoulder board mic. Oh, shit. They have this. South Island? South? You're only gonna hold me. I'm good, bro. Oh, is, that a great way to secure a pistol. I love it. But it is what it is. I bless it. What? Who was he shooting at? <laughs> Me. It's fucked up, man. So, so, four is like ten four or like you're okay. It, yeah. it, it, everyone's ten tones a little bit four. different. Yeah, code four would be that they're just indicating that they're okay. So. Us, we just give the thumbs up. Yeah, we'd probably just give a thumbs up or tell them that they were okay. Radio traffic typically solves most of that stuff. And we only saw the helicopter like five times in our career. So yeah, yeah, that's not the fact that they got real normal for us. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I've never had to give a four at a helicopter. I've never seen sky. a helicopter because yeah. my area we don't have that. So. Yeah. We got it a few times. I've been on the radio with the helicopter once. He did get the Josh is super jealous of that. I, I, oh, had, I, literally, I literally watched. I'm jealous now. I watched from the stands like a total loser. I was a total scrub yeah. having to sit there and stay available because Air, I wasn't. Yeah. Air One's talking directly to me as a suspect also, runs right towards my car. Also, shout out to Tarrant County Air One. By far the most incredible yeah. air Those user. guys are, Those guys are incredible. awesome. Absolute superhero. Anyways, we'll keep going. Oh, look at that. Yo, that's what kind of seasoning right there, that is. bro. 
Spicy. The spiciest kind, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh shit. What the fuck is it? Homeboy's a player, dude. <laughs> we got a surprise for you. Lib Roch is AK. What? Oh, like, like, I uh, probably have gloves on if I was picking up someone yeah. else's fire. Yeah. Probably. But, yeah. You know? Yeah. Just, just saying. Um, maybe. This is what's called interdiction stops versus just traffic violations. You tend to have people that are stopping for traffic violations for the sake of safety, and this is for everyone's well-being because you don't want people speeding or not using a blinker or not having insurance on their car versus interdiction, which is I know that I have a specific criminal element amongst the population that I've been tasked with policing. I'm going to leverage transportation code, things of that nature, to cause interactions between me and this portion of my population that has shown a history of criminality to try to keep them or disrupt the criminal activity they're trying to do. That's interdiction in a nutshell. This is an example of what an interdiction stop looks like. From beginning, middle, to well, they haven't done, they have a paperwork scene that I don't think we're going to do, but it is, right, yeah. that yeah. is going to be a nightmare of paperwork. Yeah. Now, Fortunately, nobody got hurt. Oftentimes in these, especially if you're dealing with somebody that motivated, you're talking about injured officers, things of yeah. that nature. A car like that, especially with someone that motivated, they're probably running. Yeah, because they could he could have easily just waited till they both got out. And, well, and that being said, this guy probably just has knows that the DA is going to let him off in like five seconds with a PR bond, you know, or yeah, whatever. Yeah, because yeah, like, oh, you, you know. shot an officer. Did you hit him? <laughs> yeah, no, no. Okay, okay it's you're California. You're good, yeah. You're good. yeah, you missed, so we'll give you a pass. So uh, there's just a whole other sign right here. Please. <laughs> <laughs> the bulging vein on all of our foreheads are here. But uh, and, and like I said, I, I think this is pretty uh, analogous of that. And again, a lot of people will talk about that being, well, that's a pretextual stop or your profiling. And, and are there instances of that? Yes. I will be the first one to say there's plenty of police departments that don't get it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and they're just like, I don't like this person because they were a dick to me one time in a yeah. police interaction. So I'm going to go sit there and try to take at them every time. That's being a dick. That's not an addiction. Yeah. You were just that's not procedurally just. I would argue... That that is official oppression in you using your position as a police officer to harass somebody for your own ends. Corruption, basically. But when you're doing it to try to prevent, again, it's the illegal, illegal trafficking of arms or money or whatever, you're doing it to disrupt that criminal element, that's interdiction. And you saw the evidence True. of that interdiction. Like, there's drugs, there's guns, the guy had a gun that he tried to shoot an officer with. Sure. So... Was, that's that's and, evident. That should be evidence to you that, that what they're doing is legit. He was not moving frijoles, right? Like yeah, was, no, no. Was a little more no. than that. So I will say this. This is for my TikTok fans. This is exactly how this would go down in the debrief for this. All right, so I saw that you guys stopped a car over there on that uh, shady side of town. And uh, you guys uh, had PC for the stop, and that's cool and all, but you uh, pulled a gun out of your holster early. I know that you were like, right, and the guy like tried to kill you and all that kind of stuff, but uh, that's not policy, so that's going to be a write-up. I'm also going to have to give you guys days off, because uh, you didn't earmark that AK for my closet, and now, since it's been on there, I can't do it for asset forfeiture and steal it and line my pockets for money, so because you guys did the job the right way and are calling me out for being a dick, that's going to be a write-up too, so uh, guys go out there, stop, stop stopping cars, and get the fuck out of here. Shout out to End of Watch for not having a captain like that. Yeah. yeah. Their captain's actually yeah. pretty cool. Yeah, he came I, in and was like please. all admiring the guns. Sure, yeah. yeah. But that, that, I guarantee you there, there are police departments out there that that's exactly how administrators would handle that. Yeah, let me see that hat. Let's see. <laughs> 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 so it, it's a, it is what it is. Uh, I, I think that there's some people that would get it. There's You've got a backup, so it's okay. Yeah, I do have a backup hat. <laughs> <laughs> But, uh, but it's hard for, for people to understand it or to get to know it. And you'll typically get a cell phone footage of some cop pulling a gun on a guy. And they're like, oh my goodness, this is so crazy. Not understanding the full context of that scenario. Uh, and often, the specialized units, you'll see it with gang units. Well, we just units, broke that down like that. Yeah. on Thursday. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We watched yeah. That there exact video. There are plenty of examples of that not being done well, but there, there's way more examples of it being done well. And there's good investigative work going into it. Our gang unit from our old department was very good yeah. at gathering intel. It would take them months to figure out, okay, this is the guy we need to get. This is the opportunity we're probably going to get. Let's be organized and safe about this. And you know how they caught most of them? Mm. Social media, 100%. Because yep. these fools would go Facebook Live somewhere. Mm. Oh, yeah. Like, they don't oh, care. We know exactly where that They're is. Brazen. Let's go. 
with that, if you're a fan of social media and you're a fan of our content, like, comment, and subscribe to our YouTube. Uh, we're also on TikTok. Go ahead and hit the bell notification on YouTube if you want to see our stuff and as we go live. And go ahead, we go live twice a week, typically Tuesdays and Thursdays. We do Let's Plays and Officer Breakdowns on a podcast. And why is Michael here? Oh, Michael's here because he supports us on Patreon. It's, it's only a dollar, you scrubs. <laughs> so, yeah. So it's as little as a dollar. There's, there's tiers for that kind of stuff. And there's some perks. Producer Juan has done an incredible job of providing things like merch and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. He's got some new stuff that came out. And so uh, I appreciate you guys coming in and watching us uh, and watching us break this down. And you might get to meet them. Yeah, so. you might get to meet some person here and hang out. Possibly. So, uh, not for a dollar. <laughs> not for a dollar. Yeah. 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 This, but, there's uh, perks here that... Uh, I, but uh, thank you for riding <laughs> four man with us today, and we will see you guys next time. <laughs>